Donald Trump is exhausted. I think this is an easy life I have, right? <laughs> I go from here, I say, am I finished? Being president of the United States is probably one of the hardest jobs in the world, and so we really do need to ask if he's exhausted being on the campaign trail. Um, is he fit to do the job? Yes, Kamala Harris's campaign shared that video on Friday that showed Donald Trump dozing off during a campaign event, proving that the disgraced former president is too exhausted to run for office. The Harris campaign posted the clip on Twitter, writing, an exhausted Trump appears to be falling asleep during his campaign event. The video shows Trump at this business roundtable in Michigan, where he appeared to close his eyes and nod his head. He's very good at pretending he's not asleep when he actually is asleep. And we saw this during his legal cases, where he was forced to be in court for a full day, not something that Donald Trump is used to being anywhere for a full day. Just like regular people going to work, he complained about it and felt the need to nod off during much of the court proceedings. Well, being president of the United States is likely one of the toughest jobs in the world, Kamala Harris said to reporters in Grand Rapids, Michigan on Friday. So we have to ask ourselves if Trump is exhausted just from the campaign trail. Is he truly fit for the job? Harris reiterated this point during two campaign rallies the same day, with her campaign amplifying the message through social media and press releases. If you're worn out on the campaign trail, it really raises questions about whether you're ready for the most demanding job in the world. Come on, she emphasised during her rally in Grand Rapids. And then, of course, there's the cancellation of meetings, events and interviews that Donald Trump is denying. He said no events have been cancelled, despite reports of dropped interviews. He rejected the idea he was tired. He said, I've gone 48 days without a break and I'm full of energy. And then he said that Kamala Harris was a loser and doesn't have the energy of a rabbit. And they have these long-term detrimental effects on the reproductive system of both men and women. Fertility rates are down. Sperm is lower than it's ever been. Trump even complained about his demanding campaign schedule, saying to an audience, you think this is an easy life I have? Right. Want to live or invest or work in a town where they're not safe. So no matter what you do, money-wise, no matter what you do with everything else in your life, if you don't feel safe, you're not going to want to go to the restaurant, you're not going to want to pump gas in your own car. And our best recruits, I was with some high school students the other day, the, the best recruits we have for police, it's a different kind of a job. It's a culture, I call it. And so what's occurred this year, in 90 days, we had three police officers shot to death on the job. Trump did a 90-minute rally in Detroit, which faced a series of technical difficulties. His microphone kept cutting out and was off for about 20 minutes before the problem was fixed. And frustrated by the disruption, Trump told the crowd he wouldn't pay the bill for the company responsible for managing the event's sound. I won't pay the bill, and they will have a story that Trump didn't pay the bill to a contractor, preemptively addressing the potential fallout from the incident. As we know, Trump doesn't pay contractors, and if he does, he negotiates down the the payment after they've done the job. This is who Donald Trump is. The NRA said on Thursday it had cancelled its Defend the Second event with Trump in Savannah, Georgia, due to campaign scheduling changes. Trump also pulled out of two mainstream media interviews this week with NBC News and CNBC's Squawk Box. Earlier in the month, he backed out of a scheduled appearance on 60 Minutes from CBS while Kamala Harris appeared on the programme. He cut short a Pennsylvania town hall to listen and sway to music for 39 minutes. So put on Pavarotti singing Ave Maria. Nice and loud, turn it up louder. We want a little action here. Turn it up louder. He said, let's just make it into a music fest. Who the hell wants to hear questions, right? That could be an authoritarian suggestion, or it could also be the sundowning of a man suffering with dementia. 
In an interview with Bloomberg News at the Chicago Economic Club on Tuesday, Trump downplayed the Capitol riot and struggled to respond when confronted about the costs of his economic plans. He later claimed he was hoodwinked into the interview. During an all-women Fox News town hall that aired on Wednesday, Trump declared himself the father of IVF, a decades-old fertility treatment that has come under threat since the overturning of Roe v. Wade, which Trump has repeatedly bragged about ending. Well, it turns out Trump didn't actually know what IVF was. In September, Trump cancelled an appearance in Pennsylvania alongside the Polish president. Back in August, the Detroit News said the campaign had cancelled an interview with Trump after the newspaper began asking about crime data. Trump had previously claimed Michigan was experiencing record high crime, despite FBI data showing the opposite. Look, Donald Trump is a 78-year-old creature and struggling to the finish line of this election campaign purely in the hope to stay out of prison by exercising his presidential privilege if he wins. This is a man where This is a man where Personally, I cannot fathom why anybody would vote for a convicted felon, insurrectionist and adjudicated rapist, but here we are. In the Democrats, you're not just voting for Kamala Harris. You're voting for a movement, for an idea, for a shared perspective on life, for an inclusive, diverse, respectful, civil, modern society where you can love whoever you love and women get to choose what happens to their bodies without government interference. That standard is the baseline of normal right around the world. Only in America was the pandemic weaponized or the climate crisis politicized. Democrats aren't radical, they're normal. Abortion is normal. To believe in climate change is normal. To respect the results of a legitimate election is normal. The peaceful transfer of power, whatever the outcome, is normal. Democracy is normal. We have to get back to normality and turn the page on Donald Trump's extremism, his criminality and division. Kamala Harris will be a president for everybody, normal Democrats and normal Republicans. And what is the opposite of normal? Weird. We're not going back to weird. I'm Anthony Davis. You can find me on the 5 Minute News YouTube channel and podcast on Wednesdays co-hosting Uncovered and on Sunday on The Weekend Show with Midas Touch.